Make it, take it. I like to see you naked. Jump up and do that facelift. Now let's get chocolate wasted. Stab, nigga. Cause like, I was like, we about to talk about fighting in MMA, bro. Everybody hates John Jones and he's always eye poking nigga. Well, but ring, ring, ring. My bad. Ring, ring, ring. Sorry. 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 But yeah, so okay, so the beat. <laughs> Back in the class podcast, cool kids, cool shit. East Coast is in the building. Rap Shepherd is in, is in the building. Uh, yeah, UFC 229 was uh last night. That shit was crazy. Marte, give us okay. So anyway, so the beat that started this shit because when like kind of went over to fight Mayweather and shit was doing that. Khabib and everybody else that Lightweight was getting sighted because that nigga was kind of was champ, but he was doing other shit, so he wasn't defending. So Khabib like, hey, bring me your chicken and all this shit. Like, that nigga don't want to fight, give me the belt. So anyway. So they start going back and forth from there. So at one point, when they was finally going to uh, strip Connor, what happened was on that fight card, it was like, let's say like you'll see the, uh, 11 or 12 or some shit, 212 or some shit. It was like a couple months. As a matter of fact, it might have been like 220 or whatever. Could be, they were stripping Connor because he hadn't fought in like a year and a half. So I'm like, all right, you can't be champ no more. You're not fighting. So they was doing Khabib versus Tony Ferguson. That's the nigga that beat up Anthony Pettis. The uh, bone marrow man. Yeah. And did, who did the cool thing. He got the hollowest eyes, bro. That nigga's eyes are sucking in. He look like All Might, nigga. Like, but he was just, just hard like as fuck, bro. He did a roll out of a knockout. He <laughs> got socked <laughs> once. He got socked once. It was like, look, 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 look. Fell one. Got socked again. Fell front flip. He was like, shit. Fuck. And then he did. Yeah. That nigga was hitting all his reaction commands. And then right out. after that, he just won the rest of the fight. <laughs> got <laughs> punched on. Took all the hits. That's all you got. That's all you got. Then he got up. Wiped the other nigga's blood off his face. Like, nah, nigga. Nah, nigga. I'm up now, nigga. Let's work, nigga. The, the, ref, the ref pissed me off. Because after all of that shit, for him to finally get up and be ready to work, like, you've been on this nigga's ass almost knocking him out for the better part of two minutes. You didn't... Socked him once, he fell, he thought he was sweet, he tried, he slid out of that shit, got his footing, got socked again, fell, did a front flip, got almost got out of that, got taken down, was getting his ass beat, then he get up, and he walked up to work, and he was like, oh no, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, then he should have let them play. But, yeah, to get that check, but that's how all the Tony Ferguson fights go, like, it's one of, like, you know how they talk about, like, some niggas, like, you gotta really hit him and wake him up before the fight begins, he's that nigga, every fight he has, he almost gets finished. Then just like, nah, I'm going to beat your ass now. And that's what happened. Like, every fight he's had, he's on his, like, he won a, like, nine fight win streak. Every fight he was in danger of losing a fight. So until he, he, he decided basically. he was just going to be yeah, basically. He's an anime character. <laughs> <laughs> he got to fight through that adversity. <laughs> like, he's sweet, though. He's bone marrow, man, bro. His whole body is just completely bony. There's, like, it's bones and skin. That nigga don't got no muscle. But like I said, he had tore his fucking knee off in fucking April, and then he was fighting the league yesterday. And won. Dominating me, like. And that nigga was throwing leg kicks at the beginning of the fight. This nigga Anthony Pettis is a dick. He was trying to fuck this nigga's knee up at the very beginning. Hey, bro, like, it's not my fault you just had knee surgery. I'm definitely kicking you to repair knee. Right. But it didn't work out for him. It definitely didn't work out. This nigga Anthony Pettis has not been able to do well for a little minute. This nigga used to get fucked up. He that, tried, though. I mean, that shit happened, though. You know how gener- fight It's just in fighting when your generation is done, like, it looks worse because you didn't build. It's not like losing a basketball game in football. It's like, you nah. <laughs> like Rashad Evans, bro. This nigga, this nigga just finally retired, and he, like, got KO'd in, like, his last six fights. But it's like, that's how it goes, like... Normally, you'd be like, all right, now, like, I got a quick game point. Now, the regular sport is like, oh, bro, you only scoring like eight points a game now, bro. We can't justify paying you 
from fighting. Like, bro, I don't think you can knock out anybody here. <laughs> like, like anybody, it's anybody in the wrong, roster. This is just about your safety, bro. Like, like I look at this roster, I don't see anybody you can beat. So <laughs> for that, you gotta go. Like, yeah, part ways. Like, but not. He's so, like, honestly, bro, I was tired of getting knocked out anyway. Like, but that was the worst part about this last knockout Rashad Evans really got. Because before that. He'd been talking about it at the last three knockouts. So it was just like, oh my God, how many more has to happen? Then it was like, he lost to a nigga who was a middleweight that came up and then gave him a shot and was like, oh, let's see if you knock this nigga. Like, everybody beating him. If you can't beat him, you can't beat anybody. It was one of those tests where I'm like, this is your chapter one. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was just for both of them. Shout out that black dude that should have got knocked out the whole Derek time. Lewis. That nigga, the, the, shout out the Russian dude. Who was a great sport? Because he didn't throw no knees, he could have finished that nigga hard as fuck. After like he didn't have to let him get away with the eyeball. He, and yeah, that was before. Yeah, but he had that was before he even like bro. He was. I bet you never. Agree. He had his hand and he was drawn back on knees. He could have ruined that nigga's. But career. you know, he he'll never let that shit happen again. That was his one Goku act in fighting. Like, nah, bro, I'm never doing that shit again. Not even that, bro. I'm talking about the knees. Fuck being a good sport about the eyeball. That's cool. But the knees was what pissed me off. Now, I think he didn't throw the knees because he didn't want to get wrestled, get wrestled down. Because you saw Derek Lewis trying to take him down the whole fight. He was doing weird shit. <laughs> Bro, that, when he, he tried the sweetest move. He did not know how to do it. <laughs> like, that, that shit was terrible. But if, but if he would have put it off, it would have been so sweet. It was terrible. It was like that high kick he tried. Like, he did like a double pump fake kick. Like, uh, like bro, you can't do this shit. Stop That it. shit was crazy. He just bought those moves. <laughs> he just right, bought those he just moves. Bought them. He ain't even tested my They, they like, level one moves, too. So they got very, very slow startups. They ain't got no invincibility frames on them. Nothing, bro. Like, he just, like you said, he just learned it. But, hey, eventually he going to master that shit. Should That's gonna be how he beat DC. DC gonna be the rock, and he just gonna master that. Rose. like, I've been training all in just for this one, <laughs> this specific takedown. So then you was here. So get back to the the pet and shit. So. Okay, the fucking kind of shit. Okay, so so Khabib had started the shit, was talking shit while he was gonna fight Floyd. All the all the MMA fighters saw. They like, bro, he's definitely gonna go make more money with Floyd, bro. Like he can't be so like that. But whatever. They was like, hey, we want to move on with our career. So anyway, Khabib started calling him shit, talking shit. So when Conor got stripped, they was going to do Tony Ferguson versus Khabib for the vacant title. And Tony Ferguson got injured and dropped out. But anyway, during that fight week, what happened was Khabib found, Khabib and his niggas found Conor's little nigga, Artem. He was at the arena because he was having a whole total another fight. And they cornered that nigga. And there was this whole video. They beat him up? It was worse. Khabib did this to this nigga. No homo, Mike. He grabbed that nigga like this and then gave him a stern speech. So then Connor and his so they nigga. So basically hold him. Right. Him and told him, like, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Tell your nigga that we could have touched you, bruh. We, we sparing you. We, we really could have fucked your whole everything up, bruh. You know what I'm saying? We you know, humble. We just want the best. That's some, bro, some straight up Mother Russia shit, bro. <laughs> We just the That's why Connor was so mad. He like, bro, don't ever Okay, so after that shit anymore. happened, he flew. <clears throat> they came from Ireland over to New York and caught him at the weigh-ins. That's when that dolly shit happened when Connor like attacked and his homies surrounded the bus and threw the dolly and shit through. After he like punked his nigga out. Hmm. But that's when Connor started really going in on that nigga afterwards. Like, oh, bro, like, fuck you, bro. Like, you, your manager a terrorist. Because, I mean, at that point, you're right. Khabib started, he took it to a level, a personal level. Like, Connor took a lot of shit, but cornering somebody's little homie or, like, his little brother or a nigga or something like that, and really, you know what I'm saying, when yeah. it's multiple niggas, that's an intimidation factor, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, these niggas is, you know what I'm saying? Cause like the shit, we all fighters and shit, bro. So this not no fucking play, play type shit, bro. Like you gotta think like. Cause like bro. the shit, Artem was saying like, he was talking about the B, but he wasn't talking about him in anything that was like corner and they was like regular like, hey, McGregor, my brother, so I think he's gonna win. Like, and you know how interviews go, be like, oh, so what do you think happened when McGregor to be fight? Like, look, that's my brother. You know, I think that nigga's gonna win, but to be wasn't playing that. So you, like, think, you think what? <laughs> what? <laughs> What? <laughs> but it was posted, Matt. Like, they was, like, dead-ass, like, 
that almost like y'all might kiss him so with, I trip for him like, like Beyonce uh, straight nigga I'll, nigga I'll, nigga I'll kiss you nigga. but that's the fucked up part about it though that's Khabib crazy. started the shit and then he took away won the fight <laughs> and then won the aftermath he was just like <coughs> that's an agent of chaos type thing like alright bro I'm gonna punk your home. I'm gonna talk shit about you I'm gonna punk your homie I'm gonna beat you in the fight and then when I'm done beating you up I'm gonna go in the crowd and beat your homies up we gotta remember <laughs> what this is with their champions up, bro. Fighting, bro. They're bro. fighters, bro. They're fighters, bro. And at the end of the day, bro, like, Connor took all that shit about how, you know what I'm saying, he's Irish, and that's what we do. We find Irish and shit, but we all know that, bro, like, Russians and Germans are not to be fucked with, bro. Like, they are, they, they, it's, it's bad motherfuckers in every nation, bro. Every nationality, bro. Even, the, even little yeah. Asians, bro. Yakuza and motherfucker. It's, it's motherfuckers from everywhere that you should get them their respect and not fuck with and not talk to them in certain ways because you do not know how the fuck they're going to turn up. And Khabib and his niggas is all some niggas from Russia that fight. Period. I, and they probably been doing, like, it's probably been professionalism the whole trip until you got you get involved with a nigga like Connor. And a nigga like Connor, bruh, you got to think, bro, they all still people, bro. This nigga, he, I, that's why I knew he was going to because it's just... You can feel it, bro. You can just feel when he was just talking too much shit. I'm like, bro. But that's the thing with Connor. Though, fall. But that's the thing with Connor. You can't even discount it on this one because that's his whole thing. Like, you gotta remember this. Connor told Otto back in a different time, my people would have went through your favela, killed everybody that wasn't fit for work. Like, bro, like what? Did you just make a slave? Jo- you made a slavery threat to that nigga. Like, bro, yeah, he it's called boxing. a German nigga, it's Nazi, boxing. bro. Like, but boxing. like you said, some niggas don't play. But the only thing for Khabib was, while on street level, you get it. Like, bro, you still a professional, and this is your biggest payday. Like, like they already was holding his purse. He going get fine. Like, damn, bro, you fucked up. Like, yeah, but his superstar don't make his respect level when goes through the roof, though. And he's still undefeated. And he a fucking fighter, bro. That's what I'm giving it to him for. I'm giving him. The simple fact of, I, I love every moment of it. From the I fact did. that Connor was talking so much shit, even down to, to the way in, you know what I'm saying? I could feel I could feel cheese, bro. I could feel energy, bro. The whole time, Khabib was not scared of this thing. I knew he was going to get that work. Even, even Connor being dirty and the fight a little bit. Like, right. Grabbing him and feet on the cage and just doing a little stupid shit. And talking shit while they in the fight. Like when that's when he came do. in the beginning, he shook his arms and went all the way down and shit, and walking all up and all, you know what I'm saying? It's now it's one of those things where he fucked up, but it's since it's Connor and everybody know what he do, it's hard to feel bad for him. Nah, it's like I mean, it's, the same about it, if he had, if he just did it to him, imagine if he had be Anthony Pettis, then went to go beat him. Yeah, Anthony Pettis you, don't you, talk you don't shit. You don't do that. You don't. That, 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 those this, things don't. It's, it, you, yeah. you're, what you're saying is not going to go together, bro. That's like you you can't do that. Like it's it's not. It would not have happened if it weren't for Connor. That would, you know what I'm saying? He brought that upon himself with the way that he's, the way that he's been moving, talking to people, the way that he was as a champion, the way that he talked to him, the, the, the one way, the I, way that he was outside of his tour bus, all that shit. Like, for one, for me, it's one of those things where sides. everybody in the situation is wrong. Mm-hmm. Like, because could be definitely wrong. It's like, bro, like, I get why you saw it. He was wrong when he prayed this homie. You should have like, pulled up on his homie. Like, 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 you should have pulled up on his homie. But even after that, like, after you beat him, that really should have been it. Now you can definitely but get it. But what did the other nigga say though? Don't matter. like you guys think though. I think I always bring it back to this. Like DC, fuck called, all that professionalism like, shit, bro. I, I feel it on the street though, but fuck all that professionalism shit. But I feel shit. it from just being like, imagine if John Jones. I'm said, with it. Can't say that's so I'm with it, but I'm not with it because Can't I feel like it's so only much. cool because it's nigga, not keep niggas. that, keep that, re- keep that retainer. I keep retainers for niggas like you. Watch your fucking mouth. Man. Like this is where I go into my <laughs> like the motherfucking crowd. That's where I go to my race mode. Cause like I'll be like, think about it. DC, like DC and John Jones got in a fight at a press conference. DC is called that nigga John Jones a junkie and shit. And in 2018, drugs is an addiction. Imagine if John Jones after he had kicked during DC jumped in the crowd and then started fighting niggas. He would be all type of nigger thugs right now. So for me, it's like one of those things where I love the fight. It's like something got happened to Khabib. A black man got fired for not punching Josh Kasha. He tried and he missed Paul Be- Paul Daly. He didn't even connect. But Daniel Wall was like, nah, bruh. We don't even try that shit. You gone. 
if we could be not to be a star right now, like champion advantage, right. bro. Yeah, I and feel that, but he that, ain't he the champion? And he just beat your main nigga. Now, nah, but kind of money, money, money I know, but but, if it, if it, 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 but here's money. why my counter that Khabib isn't a draw except for with Connor though, like because like the fight I was just telling you about when he won the belt, that only did like two hundred thousand real buys, and that's like well, low who tier knows when his who knows when his superstardom can go to right now? It's a it's, it's a coin flip. Dana White and them got to make a choice, and I feel where you coming from, where as far as like fairness, and I respect people that's doing do it like that because like like. You can't just be doing that shit just because that shit look cool and shit like that. Because if it was a black person that would have did that shit, y'all would have been fire niggas and finding niggas. But all I'm saying is, is I fuck with the gangster up here. I, I do too, but it's just like, because the normal excuse for like, like, Connor should have been fired a couple times for the, like, especially for the dollar shit. But I get it with Connor because he makes them money. Khabib, as of yet, hasn't proven to make money, so it just doesn't add up yet. It's like, wait. Like, yeah, he, he like that's why John Jones get the fuck up so much. Like, John Jones used to use steroids and like crashing them because like, yeah, bro, I do that, but when I fight, I make money. Khabib is like, you undefeated. It's like Tim Duncan, like, you sweet as fuck, but you ain't bringing the NBA bread like Kobe. Like, Tim Duncan couldn't have accidentally raped and shit and still been in the NBA. Like, bro, nobody buys Tim Duncan. It wasn't an accident. Baby. He didn't rape her. She set him up. <laughs> but anyway, nah, he raped her. He, did. he didn't rape her. She came to But you, I mean, he, she, he didn't, but I'm being funny. But, right. Like, Tim Duncan couldn't have right. been in that same situation. <laughs> yeah. still play. Well, <laughs> I don't know. We fuck with that shit, but that's... Bro, that was, that, that was one of the best it? moments we've seen as a fight group. Like, it was just like... Yeah. Because for it to be happening in real time and they thought that they could move the camera away from the shit and then more shit just happened. Well, we didn't even right. talk about the actual fight part. But let's tell y'all exactly what happened if y'all didn't see it. It's all going on. So, Connor and them finally got to the motherfucking word. But let's talk about the fight itself. And let's, let's try to get this quick so we can get to that type of stuff. The fight itself, good fight. Could be trying to use his wrestling. Um, Connor was definitely. Yeah, it wasn't that. a try. He definitely used. It. But Connor definitely was showing that he had some. He he had some training as a wrestling. You know what I'm saying? He was sprawling a little bit on the ground, trying to block some of it. He got up. He stayed on one leg for a while. But Khabib did get him up against that fence. Got his body, held him, kept some control. Once he did get his position, though, it took a little bit of time. But once he got it, was that the first round or the second? That round? was the first round. The first, first round, round was the only time face. like when Connor was doing all the sweet ass like. Take down the skates, but then like that's Khabib said, like because he wrestled bad, like he just keeps taking you down. He just he take, goes for a shot to grab you, then he just keeps trying. Like all right, that didn't work. But what about this one? No, this one. And kind of, like, he, he off of I got he thirty-five. And he was wrestled bad. And he was he was kind of was so focused on defending the takedown. That, that second that he round he got knocked down. Not by even me. the second round. about the first round. He was so busy on defending the actual takedown. That he wasn't like counter punching, elbowing, and shit like that. He was 100% solely focused on, nigga, I cannot go to the ground. Because if I go to the ground, it's going to be all bad. So it wasn't really like he was doing much of the normal shit. Like if you're confident, like Dennis Seaver or something like that, if you're confident against somebody's takedown, when they're going for it, you sprawling, but you throw uppercuts, elbows, all that shit, you knocking them out as they're going for the takedown. He was focusing 100% on the takedown defense. But, but now it, when he got to the second round and he actually got him down and he postured up, he took off on that man's but that was, Bro, that was so... I was yeah. mad at the ref then call it. I was like, bro, Because a lot of them shots was going straight, straight through, through the guard. Bro, but it was going straight through, but he was putting his guard up. And he had enough movement to where, like, you can let it go. He wasn't throwing anything back, but they got a thing where it's... Plus, this is kind of He was McGregor. intelligently defending, so I'm like, okay, this he's is, getting beat up. It's Conor McGregor. But like, he's playing, if you heard the and you caught a fight with Conor McGregor... You best be 100% sure that he was out. Because that nigga, like, you a black man. I ain't about to risk my job. Like, not that nigga. He did. Out. Bro, I got to show you the last fight he did. They was upset. He let the nigga beat the nigga beat up for an extra day. It, 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 it just looked but like. Yeah, Connor, you got to let it roll. Connor, but he was, was the thing like, he, remember them old little wrestling doors I used to have? It just looked like, it was just punching them. It was just moving all across. Ugh. It was all straights too. That's what was killing me. Like he had his guard like this, but them bitches was still just coming. But through. it's one of those things. Bouncing his head back. Like, he it, punched him in the face so long that he got tired and laid on him sideways, like this, and caught his breath. Down side. But yeah, but it's one of those things where it's just that's what happens to everybody that fights with me. That's the only way he'll escape this one. Like 
you don't look bad when you lose the same way that everybody is going to this nigga. Right? Everybody loses that way to Khabib. He did have his... He might be the first nigga to say that he took a round off Khabib. I think all three judges gave him the third round, which is the first time Khabib ever lost a round, which... You know, they, if they do rematch, you know, that's definitely going to... I don't know, what first, was the what third round? The yeah. third round was the one where they were just standing and fighting. Mm. It was just yeah, like... It was in tag. Like, he couldn't... I don't remember that round for real. I only remember the fourth round. I was saying, because, you know, of course you don't, because there was more domination than wrestling. But yeah, he had like one takedown, but mostly it was just them on the feet. And it's one of those rounds where Connor won it, but... It's one of those things where maybe he also won it because, like, well, you're not getting your ass kicked like the last one, for sure. Like, I don't even, it's not even a strong, like, for sure, Connor, but it's like, well, well you did get beat the fuck up, so well, I think maybe you won it. Well, when he but, finally did get taken to the yeah. ground, Khabib, with a beautiful transition, he took back control, like, was just holding him. Yeah. Just fell backwards with him, grabbed his back, and then just transitioned into a full mount within probably, like, three seconds. Three to five seconds time. But even the neck crank he finishing with. Straight. Three. Straight into a mount. But that was a good night of fights, though. And Drew, like, everybody got their ass knocked out, except for the one where we're about to be off UFC. We're going to finish this. We're going to finish this goddamn fight. So he chokes him out. After he chokes him out, he's talking shit over Connor. We don't know if he spits he, on him. Nah, he spit on him. He definitely spit Connor on him. Connor sits there. He walks away. <clears throat> one of Connor's home. Now, he said his name is Denim what? Dylan Dennis. Now, what was his beef? What's his beef with Khabib? He just kind of homie. Like that's one of his best homies. That that's kind of that's the one they walked up on. That's the one Khabib. Ju- yeah, nah, Artem is a fighter. Okay. It's cool. I was just asking. Nah. So Dylan's just a nigga. He's just one. Dylan, of, and he's, he's one, one, of one of his friends. One of Connor's niggas. And All he right, trains him for jujitsu. So he trains in jujitsu with Connor. He was talking shit from the outside. Khabib was like, "Oh, nigga, you think I ain't about that trash?" Hit the nigga who the security with the spin move. Jumped the fence. Jump in the fucking crowd, work with this nigga for a little bit. It looked like some of Khabib niggas was coming in and socking this nigga too. Security get him up out of the way. While that distraction is happening, Connor punched in one of Khabib's niggas who up on the fence. I guess he tried to come jump to help Khabib. Connor nigga like, nah, fuck this shit. You ain't about to come help. So then Khabib's niggas see that shit and they jump the fence. So one of the niggas in one of Khabib's nigga, he in the black, he come around the front. And Connor like, nigga, me fucked up. Connor just pieced that nigga with one, stop him in his track. But this nigga in the red jumpsuit had jumped up behind Connor, came hit this nigga Connor with the And I think the one who did in the red was could be brother, brother. Yeah, like that had to be a super family. He hit this nigga with the smooth three piece. And some other niggas from the side came and hit this nigga Connor. He really got jade out. Like he got he got jade out. The one he the one he saw. Connor should have known that was the distraction right there. That was the one that sacrificed. But you gotta think he just went through a fight. Almost got choked out. He already drained. I have that awareness. Tired, and then not even knowing, like, you, this this don't happen in regular UFC. You're not expecting niggas to be jumping fences and really swinging on you. Like, all the security is useless because y'all niggas is saying y'all security. Any of these niggas wanted to kill me, stab me, or some shit, they I, did it. I can't wait for that. And, they, and the fucked up part, they had extra cops for that. They did it. They did it easily. Everybody, he got touched multiple times. Nobody was doing shit, bro. He'd have been touched. I want to see somebody wanted him gone, bro. I know they seen this and was like, you know what? Yeah, nah. Next fight, bro. Fuck it. We lose. We sucking everything, man. Nah, cause like yeah, cause they the last thing that strike force brawl was crazy. Oh, they're not allowed. They're not gonna be able to do that shit no more. Security is gonna be definitely amped the fuck up. They need to have. But the Diaz brothers fucked up for less, bro. Like, (laughs) okay, so Nick Diaz won this fight a long time ago. He was fighting for shot strike force. (laughs) So he won the fight. I mean, you know how sometimes they do the thing where the next challenger come out to the cave like, hey, bro, I want to fight you for the title. <laughs> Nick and Nate wasn't having that shit. Like, four, like they whole crowd, they whole team stomped him out in the middle of the ring. I'm talking about, like, with actually kicking him in the face, in ribs. <laughs> like, wait. Like, so, wait. They had just the title. So Nick, Nate wins his title shot? He like he not he had defended his title. He was already the he champion. defended his title, and somebody came in saying that they wanted to try and challenge him. Yeah, you like, know, like you know, right now. No, not right ass. now, but like <laughs> like you know how sometimes they like, did. They beat his ass right like, there, right? Which, um, you know how uh, what I'm saying? Like sometimes you're gonna see you defend about then, like like how they brought out Brock Lesnar for exactly, <laughs> but they, they took it literally. Change that nigga right to the air. Yeah. I'm, I'm saying what like, you're saying. Like now, right nobody does that. Like bro, like that's exactly what he's saying. 
Now, I thought you meant like he was dead ass challenging him. I didn't get you was making a joke. He that dead was... ass came in there and said, hey, I want to fight you for the title next week. Nigga. He said, fuck next week. We can do it right now. And they hey, beat his that ass. down. I'm about to just show you. <laughs> Man. No, matter of fact, you're oh, yeah, oh, that's that one dude. The sound goes off. Yeah. And the house breaks up. This is crazy. That dude is fast. And the May rules, right? Kicking on the gun. This is ridiculous. They all in tap out shirts. Security like chill out, nigga. They got kicked off TV for this shit. I bet they did. Cause he wasn't invited in the fucking ring. Don't come in the fucking ring and talk that shit. Mayhem was not expecting that. It was Mayhem, by the way, guys. Remember the young bully beat down with the uh, the funny hair. He used to beat up the bullies and shit. And then he got—he was a real UFC fighter. He used to get his ass tagged. He just got his ass tagged again. And now he also <laughs> just been getting in trouble for beating up bitches. <laughs> bro, you could tell he was a bitch when he went to fight regular people on MTV. Like, come on, bro. Trying to so pick up bullies because you couldn't be a bully. Yeah, he couldn't beat up regular niggas, so he started beating up regular niggas and abusing them and shit. But all right, so that shit was crazy. Shouts out to them niggas. Let's get into some next shit. So, uh, I'm super excited about this fucking anthem, bro. Uh, Bioware, uh, niggas who made Mass Effect. Uh, who else, what else Bioware make? I don't, I don't know. know. They ain't fucking I tell us fuck Bioware. Bioware. Did, didn't they do, uh, what's that one? Uh, look like a carnival game. I forgot. That's a shoot game. Anthem is the thing where you like flying and like almost like Gundams or some shit like that. It's pretty uh, sweet, shit like that. It's pretty, it's pretty tight. It's like a, uh, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a Destiny type multiplayer type thing, but it's not like that. It's like, but it, they Bioware, they real big on stories and shit. They made Mass Effect and some other shit, but you can look up different Bioware. I don't know, but they sweet. But basically, I'm fucking with it. It's like a Destiny type thing, except you got like Gundams and shit. You can even be like a. a not Gundams, not huge Gundams. They like mix. Little, little mechs, little exo suits that you wear and shit. Got like a regular Ranger, normal type, like Ballast. They got a Colossus where they got shields and big ass guns. You got a, um, you got like the Storm where he's like, a, like he got like magical powers and shit. And then you got this other class, the thing, um, but I'll be at. Uh, Big multiplayer type thing. It still got its own centralized story. So it's basically like when you're playing it by yourself, you got your own story mode and shit. But you can go on your own missions and shit. Your homies can just jump in your shit with you. It's really meant to be played with teammates and shit. Because you can do like combo moves. Like if you freeze some niggas and then they shoot like a fire thing on them or something. Bullshit like that. But jump in co op, I am not a fan of that. Like, not, now that game more so, but I don't like, I hate it in open. I don't like old. I don't like online only co-op games, but this one does look really, really pretty. Yeah, I could, I could definitely see that. I was trying to say, like, I know like with Watch Dogs, they got to do where like other hackers can jump in your game and start stealing your shit. It's like, nah, this is more teammate. They like, this yeah, is- now that wouldn't make more sense. But any game where it's like, like Forza got that, but I, even on mine, it's like I don't want anybody ever just jumping in my game, ever. I don't even have my profile online because I don't want niggas just hitting me up to play the game. Like, if I want to play the game, <coughs> I'll hit you up. Like, I hate niggas. Like, well, especially it's like, when it's I, random niggas. Like, that's the word. Like, oh my God. But sometimes on the flip side of that, you can run into some niggas that you do end up being dummy cool with. They either just being sweet or having some sweet shit. Like, when I used to play wrestling online, like, I used to run into some sweet niggas. Then it'd be like, Man, now nah, where, where my nigga at, bro? Cause we I mean, that's how it was for me on Left 4 Dead, but after that, though, it was just like, I'm not into well, it no With more. this one, with Anthem, it's pretty much like a, it's really, they saying like, yeah. you really can play it without even having mics. You really only need niggas to help you out because it's just going to be big mods or shit like that. So but, like Destiny, where's the shoe? Like, yeah, you, don't need you, can, to... you can preferably play with your friends, and they, it's yeah. a Bioware game, so they're like, we're going to we're gonna focus on story, too, because they're big with that. I ain't really too. I don't know how much they gonna do with that, but we'll see. What I really like about it though is like it's like 
they have confirmed that it's on a different planet. It's not Earth. The people are not very human, but they're not. I don't know. But they said like it's just the planet is a hundred percent like dynamic. Like shit, just always be having like random storms and shit. They said that there's like this technology that just be cutting itself on and cutting itself off and just be fucking up. Because they said basically like. The technology, they believe it came from like the literal gods who were building the planet and they think that they were building the planet and then just halfway through building the planet, they was like, oh, fuck this. And they just left for some reason. So that's basically like, it's all different types of groups of people that's trying to figure out what these technology is, where it came from. They think it came from the gods. They believe that they're like these shavers or something because they just be going off and causing like typhoons and storms and all types of shit. But it's a nice little, you know what I'm saying? Shaping up to be a nice little team game coming out in February. Ready to play that with the squad. This lighter just went out. Like uh, shit like that probably would be what I'm saying, but I don't know. I haven't been into the, like space shooters for me at least never been my thing. Like, I don't know. As much as I would like to be a space bounty hunter, space shooting games, like I don't like it. Hey, I've never liked Halo because of that. Like, I don't know, it's sci-fi in general. But if you, I get definitely get that pill because Well they get you get Gundams and they got jetpacks on them. Even Gundams and shit, like I don't know, it's something about science fiction has never been my thing. I definitely get the appeal because, like, you don't get to play as a robot too often in games and shit. So that's funny. Like, mechs is cool, but it's just never been my thing. I like, also like the fact but, that you don't got to choose one certain yeah. mech to play the whole game through it. You can customize, like, to you can have a, you can, not, you can, not even customize it to whatever. You can have all four of the different mechs and have sweet ass decked out version with sweet guns now that's sweet. colors and all that shit. So when you, you don't you get go, stuck with no yeah, so when you do go on to a mission with like if you hop on the game with like Mario and Taven and them shit like that, like nah nigga, I'm gonna tell you, like we should run two Colossuses. I'm gonna bring my big nigga with his big straps. You bring your big nigga with his big straps and then we just have Mari flying around fucking thunder in the water and shit. Like you can switch up or if it's like yeah. I'm feeling now, too now slow, bro. I can switch to my lower. You, know you got different loadout, and with, you got more than one robot, and you got different. Yeah, loadout. and in the place you actually build them and shit like that, and they say that it's not based off of like, like class where it's like you would play with one nigga if he like dummy sweet, you just there like stand out the way to try and level up while he doing all the work. They've scaled it to where like everybody can do, everybody can do damage. It's just you'll be looking at him like, damn nigga, we did a big ass particle ray. You like, oh. Nigga. Like that, so that, so like, like so, are you saying money. like it's not like do do all your mechs level up at once, or is it one of those things where your level is you get different guns versus more powers? Well, you? you exactly. It's like you basically are gonna be leveling up, but they was like you do level up, but it's it's based off of like getting sweeter shit or doing shit. But it was like it's never gonna be a point where it's like. Oh damn, you a low level, so you shouldn't go on this mission because you're just gonna be completely useless, or you're just gonna be dying, or you simply can't even go on this mission because you're too weak. It's like nah, nigga. Like even if I'm dummy late in the game, if you want to jump in my mission, you can. Like spoilers is on you, but you can jump in my shit, dummy late in the game, play whatever I'm with me. I can play back. You just don't got no cool gun. You got. You just got like whatever you got, but you know what I'm saying. You can get sweet shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, but that's what I fuck with about it. Just that's not like the, the remind me of Division Two. Then, like it's like that's the two type of games they're making right now. Like it's battle royals or like, hey, we got this game where it's kind of a story, but really you're supposed to go and raise for sweet gear with your own. Right, make your own story. Which I'm like, bro, I'm cool with that, but I just want our niggas to stick with one game because that's what be so difficult. Like niggas be saying, why I'm a Sony a, a, a Sony nigga is because bro playing. Games with everybody and linking up with everybody be difficult. I need to just be able to jump into a God of War, or jump into a Yakuza, or jump into a Spider Man, and play when I want. Because when I really want to jump on fucking Four Honor, niggas ain't on it no more. But when you like, it's like everybody like everybody jump off of like from game to game. Like I, I really hope that Red Dead Two, we I think we gonna mob on that. I think Red Dead Two is gonna be the one. Cause I'm not really a huge. I didn't play Red Dead the original one, and I'm not a huge Rockstar dude. But something about Red Dead 2 got me. I feel like I might, I might fuck with that. It's big hype. I didn't fuck with the first one. Like, it's one of those things where it's like, I get, it's not, I don't get why niggas like it. I, no, I get why niggas like it, but it's like, at the end of the day, it's Cowboys. And that's, that's not something I really care about. I ain't, well, really, I ain't trying, to, trying to be like on a horse and shit. Like, it was fun for a minute, but then it was like, I didn't like it as much as Grand Theft Auto. Like, I know like on the 360, we like when everybody had 360s and shit, we mob out on GTA 5 and shit. But only thing I hate about that, that was before they fucking uh 
would pick the heist in like they said they was. That's why I can't, I can't fuck with Rocket Star after that. That was some bullshit. Like, how do you promise heist in GTA 5 Online? Then you just don't do it until you release next gen. Like, nah, that's trash. Got it. But I mean, Not, like, I think what Red it was Dead, a personal thing. Like the Red Dead, it's, it's, like if you like cowboys and shit like that, I don't necessarily per se like cowboys, but I do. I I can appreciate the fact that. They're not doing something that everybody's doing. It's the and worst. I, can, and I, I like I like anything that's done extremely dramatic, but it's like done well. Like how it's the other day. Like not anything. I don't think it's the, anything. Anything that's just. Now for like, me, it's the horse trip. Like, we, we were talking about earlier the other day. Like boxing intros in movies. Like I was like, this shit just that shit be looking so sweet. Like the lighting, the music from the locker room. I like it when shit is just really just portray as authentically as possible. I like that shit. So, I feel you if you don't like horse traverse and shit like that. It's the, that's the real bracket for me at the end of the day. Like, every time I think of it, I think of having to travel by fucking horse and it's like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> like, get all the way the fuck out. Like, that's really my only problem with it. It's just the fucking horse. Horse power, bro. <laughs> like, fuck it just ran, bro. Horse power. I don't know. I think what I like about it, I mean, like, shit like, you know what I'm saying, different shit, like, Just even Robin Assassin's Trains. Creed 3, that's my fucking, that's the one part I hate about that, like, it's the fucking, it's a fucking horse. It's not even a sweet horse with video game powers or armor. It's just like, oh, no, bro, I'm a horse. Like, if I get shot, I'm dead. I'm a horse. Like, get the fuck out of here. I walk. <laughs> I'm rather fucking run to get on a fucking horse. Well. Like, I even like shooting the animals in the woods on both games. It's just like, I don't, I'm not riding this fucking horse. Well, they a whole cowboy clique. So, like I said, I like seeing... I like being able to play a game or watch a movie or something like that and learn shit that I didn't know about shit. I like when people take the time to go and research shit to make shit authentic so that when you're experiencing it, you're learning from the research that they did to go into this. So, I fuck with the fact like if they're a whole cowboy clique, you feel me? Like, they got a whole traveling society where everybody has different roles and jobs and you can interact with the different people and you know what I'm saying do different shit you can and you can go out and collect bounties and all types of sweet shit you feel me like they was letting this beer girl out fight clubs I don't know and I, right. I'm only fucking with it for the fact like I said like it, I'm, I'm I'm geeked to put on a bandana and rob trains with my now squad. that'd be yeah that'd definitely be fun because I think I, I like would have liked heist with the squad when we was on 360 like, only Cowboy game I can think about, like, was Gun back on 360 and that shit. But that whole, it's something about, I don't like, you know how I feel about animals. I already don't like animals. Like, so then it's like, oh, here's your horse. Like, Metal Gear Solid 5. It's something about, don't pick me on a horse in a game. It's like, give me a car, give me a rocket board or something. Just make, let me swing. Or like, or fucking like, uh, Sunset Overdrive, like, let me swing from the rooftops or slide on rails. Right. Anything but getting on a fucking horse. Like, like you mean I can they slide on time? But what rails is there? I don't care, bro. I don't, I don't care. I get it. It has to be that way. It's like fucking, I hate that and I hate water levels in games. Maybe this is from almost drowning twice, but any fucking <laughs> game sorry, with a boat. No, I mean, it was both of them was my fault. And I just... Like the first time I was, didn't want to wait for the water wings to come my turn, so I jumped in the pool. My cousin saved me. The second time I was at the rec center, in the rec center summer program, we went to the pool and my friends that could swim was in the six foot water. And it's like, well shit, I'm not going to be in the four foot water with the people I don't kick it with. I thought I could maybe just keep jumping and keep it up. It didn't work like that. But Where it was like- your friends after <laughs> Huh? Were they still your friends after you almost yeah, died? Yeah, they were my friends still. <coughs> your friends. Right. Well, we've seen that um, that we've seen that local artists can now upload to Spotify. I saw somewhere it said like it's invitation only, but I don't know if that's anything accurate about that. But mm-hmm. shout out to Spotify. Shout out Spotify, bro. They ain't trying to bypass. The, they trying to be like another SoundCloud, I guess, and just let local artists go ahead and just put their shit in there. Um, I want to do more research. How long time. before they start just letting anybody? Because remember when Facebook was like that back in the day when you had to get the invite? Or did you not have early Facebook? You had to be invited to get on yeah, Facebook? Yeah, think back to high school, like mm-hmm. early high school when you first majored. That was back in the day when somebody, like, first it was the colleges, 
then it had to be like somebody who was on Facebook had to invite you to Facebook. And then, you know, after a while, it was just like, anybody. Well, I don't know. I know there's different ways to get on Spotify, that. but I know that they said that. Now, where can we find you on Spotify? Uh, you would just have to search the artist. No, you. What's your specific? Oh, well, my shit, I want everything now, you know what I'm saying? Title, Spotify, Google Play, Apple Music, you know what I'm saying? But it's only seventh grade, though. Would you just type in bro, seventh grade? Bro, nah, that's a big step, bro. That's it a is a big step, yeah. but shout out my nigga Yogi, man. He the one put me on. I need you to put it. It's just for the one on. I don't know if I can put them on there because that's other people's beats and shit. I can only put the motherfucking seventh grade so far. That was just a trial run, but what's the it's a, it's a what's the album? I always forget it, but that's, that's higher learning. learning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's, that's like I don't know if that's original beat. Either. The only shit on there that's original on there is the shit I did with Lowe's. But a lot of that shit was like cover beats too and shit. Yeah, because he had a single bar with one and the single girl. Oh, yeah, and black and yellow. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. And with my hair back and forth. Yeah. yeah. But, Which was after that time? That's crazy. We we really seen her go up at this nigga's next head. Like, nah, bro, we putting that. Nah, that. Remember how I learned? Nah, that. Nah, that's that yeah, single. That's the cabin. Yeah, you can't even get those, but. Right. Yeah, man, just type Brimstone, seventh grade, more shit coming. Actually, though, if you want to pay him illegally for rapping on other people's beats, check out his Patreon, Stoner Sensei, The Alchemist Brimstone, the rapper, all one word. <laughs> <laughs> I hate niggas with the longest names. Like, bro, you gonna. Your name gonna end, nigga? Gonna, in, nigga? <laughs> like, first of all, it is always fair with. I hate that niggas, everybody now uses like X's. For like in between the spaces or like V's for A's, like what my name? Yeah, shit is crazy, but I'm gonna let it go because I think it, I think it's sweet. It's I put X for and or plus or something. Right, like, like shit like that. Like just like okay, so but how does that actually feel? Like my name is Aaron, but you look it up V at sign <laughs> R zero. Like what? <laughs> like you ain't want me to find you, my nigga. <laughs> like, you ain't want me to find your shit. You but all, if you boo. And that means niggas love you. Like soon as you put, soon as you type in the ass. But the like, best, oh, Eric. Now, nah, but the best part is, you know, niggas on comment section is gonna be really clowning niggas for spelling wrong. Like, bro, this is a fake Aaron ass fan or wrong, but this is a fake variant. <laughs> that ain't. Uh, <laughs> still a- <laughs> like, bro, like they just showing it in for short. They doing fake Wikipedia Aaron, Aaron, but it's stylized. It's like why. Yeah. Well, we see. Uh, I know y'all probably seen that new Creed two trailer. How y'all feeling about it, man? Um, I hope we get a win. Is I that, hope we get a, a win. Do you think he will lose in the movie? He lost the last movie. He lost the last fight. I don't even remember the movie. I don't even remember the movie. Let me remind you. Oh, shit. Let me, he, was getting, he was getting his ass with all, all the rounds. All the rounds. He was getting his ass with well, Hold on. Who did he fight? I don't know. He, 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 fought, he fought. Remember uh, the nigga that was in uh, Fight Night Champion? <laughs> Isaac Frost. He did fight Isaac Frost. He fought Isaac Frost. And then. At the last minute, he knocked Isaac Frost out, but Isaac Frost got sighted by the bell. He lost. Isaac Frost got to kept his bell. Rocky too. Like I don't. So care. really, he hit him after the bell and cheated. No, like he got, he got. It, it, it definitely it, looked like he lost the fight. The bell rung, and then rep counted ten. I just know they bring back Ivan Drago. I ain't never seen none of the He rock. might lose that battle. You seen none of the rock, bro. I just know, because, like, you know how some movies and shit is just pop culture thing where you know what happens? Like, I've seen bits and pieces of it, and I've seen it mock so many <laughs> times I know what's going on, but I've never actually seen any of them. Like, well, like, I don't know about the Rocky movies. What I, even a, like, I even know his cold character. Like, yeah, like, what he gets good, but then he wins. And he's like, Adrian! The nigga he's crying, <laughs> but his daddy killed Creed's daddy. Yeah. And beat up. And beat up Sylvester. So niggas is like. Still niggas. won't beat him up though. Still won't win that fight. Exactly. Rocky be winning his shit. But he didn't win the first one. The first time he fought. Uh, the first time he fought Creed, Creed, he did yeah. lose. And that's probably why they did Creed like that. The second one. So that's probably why he had to lose the first fight. Because Rocky won his first fight. But he fought Apollo Creed and they went yeah, to the hospital together. And then they fought again in Rocky 2. 
and that shit was crazy. Then in Rocky Three, I think Apollo Creed was training Rocky. That wasn't a, no, it wasn't Apollo Creed. That's Mr. T. That's the Mr. T. Clever Lane. Yeah. Clever, no, Clever Lane. He fought him. I think. He when did he fight him? Rocky Third. Two. He fought him in Rocky Three. Now nah, yeah, because he needed to get trained by. He got trained by uh, Apollo Creed. And by that. Apollo Creed. And, and then on four is when he fought Drago. Yeah. And I don't know about five and six. I know one of them he lost to like Anthony Hopkins. Not Anthony Hopkins, but some actor. B-Hops. <laughs> somebody, somebody like that. B-Hops. But nah, that shit was a good fucking fight, bro. Like, the shit would drive off because he was so big and he was on so many steroids and shit. And he was like the perfect biggest nigga. How Rocky had, Rocky had to do the montage and the motherfucking winner and shit. He was running against the car. Like, <laughs> yeah, I know the montage. He's like, bro, on a side note, though. I was talking to my mom about shit. this earlier. Like, we were talking about like Ameri- like Russian spies and shit, like in movies and t- television. Like, do you think in Russia it's the opposite? So we're like they make like they have a Russian Rocky, where it's like an American that's on steroids and shit. Like or like they make movies about Americans terrorists and spies and shit. Hell yeah, bro, you know like, they do, bro. Like, Hell yeah. It's funny like, you said that. The hardest we, like, I was bro. just having the same con- not to cut you off, but I was like, just having the same conversation with Kev about that shit, like. Bro, you think other countries really be doing what we like? How, how, how we be? It's so hard for us. Yeah, like it's so hard. I have an example for y'all. Go okay. ahead. But now it was bro, the uh. All right, so my my nigga Eat Man, Eat Man Three, it's like that. He was the little Asian dude. They fought the big ass American boxer. He beat the uh, old nigga to death, yeah. and then he was like. E man was fighting him, and that nigga was so big, like he was throwing haymakers and shit. He had to go under that shit, and, like literally punch his fucking biceps and shit. Like, he <laughs> beat that nigga's whole fucking face sideways. <laughs> but just ima- like that shit's just. That made Americans horrible. <laughs> like, because we definitely did, like, because back in the day, it was like, all right, Russians was an enemy. It's like, our, like, all our life has been like terrorists, like random Middle Eastern terrorists, or like Russians, like. That's how we know Khabib was had to be some cold ass nigga. Like, bro, this nigga like Russian or some shit. TV told me they all Russia ain't never been nothing to fuck with. Like, but imagine being a pussy Russian though. Like, everybody just thank you hard, but really inside. It's gotta be how Asians feel if they hate this. If they not smart. If you can't do kung fu or do no like no math, like, bro, what are you fucking good for, my nigga? Right. What are you good for? But shit, we not tall and we don't play basketball. So for the black stairs, I'll rap. I'll rap. So speak for your fucking self. Okay? I'm doing my fucking Oh, we gotta feel. (laughs) Feels oh, Mike used to fucking play sports, so you need to get that shit nah. together. I mean, I play sports in high school. I'm talking about you gotta be good at basketball and you gotta be tall or yeah, jump high. I'm right. good at basketball. I'm good at sports. I said that here. You nigga, you like nigga decent. And that's different levels. That don't count. Right. That's Mike tell her he should have went to the league. <laughs> right, right, he was about to go. I mean, oh, hey, that's right. everybody. Everybody's that good at sports though. Like if I just kept wrestling, bro, I would have been here. Like, just what it is. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> he said, if I would have kept wrestling, I would have been Daniel Cormier. I guess. But at the end of the day, bro, you pretty good at it, bro. That's the worst part. I was like, that's like, you probably, yeah. But yeah. other niggas be sweet, but they be sweet from a distance. Even you get close, like, you're not that sweet. Like, if I was to play Sonic Fox in a game that I was actually good at, I would take that. We just think it's my practice for real. It, it's just some, it's some sort of sort of belief you just have, like look, bro. If I just get at it, especially, like, especially that's the only benefit in in later adulthood about things you quit doing. Like, should you like? It's different when like you go all the way and then you just peter out and fell out. Like, nah, like I went out for college ball and like nobody gave me a letter. Versus a nigga who chose the streets, like, like bro, like nigga. If I had only kept doing it, bro. But I was in them streets, man. I could have really been Georgia Tech, nigga. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like Dev Stranding trailer. That shit's so weird. Speaking of another PlayStation exclusive, I don't know if you've seen that. This is like when you. This, this is one of those bad things of how Dev Stranding are getting too much freedom. Like, <laughs> like this. Uh, one. This is Dev Stranding trailer. Just type it. No, there it is. Why is it so? Where's the new one? I didn't know. Death Stranding Stra- trailer. New. No. 
Stop. <laughs> damn it. God damn. Two weeks ago. Yeah, bro. It's like some nigga. This nigga. I ain't even mind that. I see this one. Look at this shit, man. It's too weird. Why are you got a baby? I, bro, I have no idea what's going on in this game. This nigga Hideo Kojima is wilding. This is when you really need somebody to limit your creative way. You can't even say nothing, though, because he be like, he got the best artist. The graphics be so beautiful. you like, but the game got to be sweet. Look at how pretty it is. Ain't got the nigga from The Walking Dead in it. Look at this shit, man. Then he pulls out some big ass werewolf monster. I don't even know what the fuck this shit but is. But he got a baby from the umbilical. And it's just like. Oh, it's a lot of they, they They got. It's, I don't know if they like. It might be some sort of like reincarnation or something like that control it. Don't focus on that one thing. <laughs> <laughs> look, I agree, it looks beautiful. But like. I feel good. you. I don't know what's going on. The story makes your sense. hair hurt. I'm like. <laughs> it's just like. But I'm like, how he gonna fight this? I ain't seen him with one gun. Ever. Obviously, the baby is super powerful. Like, you eat the baby or something. Or the, ba know. Or the baby kazooie, bro. It probably, like, spit eggs and fire and shit. You gotta turn, you gotta become the baby <laughs> or something. Like you eat but the I, think baby. That the, I think that the baby, I think that the baby... Jesus, help me. I think that that nigga died one time or some shit, and the baby, like, I think if you die, that motherfucking baby, you, it can bring you back to life or some shit. So, hold the way, if you die, you clone into the baby? Either that, or when you die, you literally suck the baby's soul so you can come back to fucking life or some shit like so that. So he takes and steals babies and stay like this. Is it's not even that because, uh, bro. This evil, might be it. But the <laughs> evil nigga, the evil nigga had a whole bunch. You remember the one nigga who walked up, the sergeant nigga who had his hands like that. He had all the soldiers that pulled up. They be bringing shit back to life or some shit. So like, and they be taking nigga. So it's bro. That's that's what he doing it for. It's thought provocation, bro. You like what? The fuck is the game about? He's like, I don't know, play. Right. But <laughs> this is why why I argue is bad though, because of all those games like it's like Metal Gear Solid, like I feel like Metal Gear Solid would get more love because it's a good game, but it's like, oh my god, your story is so pretentious, you dickhead. If you like, love it enough, you'll figure out what it's like. About. I feel like he like I'll go back to my one of my friend rap Lupe. Sometimes like I fuck with it because I fuck with Lupe. But it's like I get why people hate it. Like, why are you so extra all the time? Like, what does anything yeah, happen to so I fuck with it, but I get why people that don't like Lupe won't. Hour and a half long, you talking about slaves, this a slave ship crashing, them niggas living at the bottom of the bottom of the sea. And friends with lobster. And like and you fucking saving other slave ships going off. And you also start the album off in Spanish. Hard. Because I'll fuck with you. But if I did well, not I started off in Spanish. Because it was because drug has is a Spanish word. And then one of the things is Drugs and his song stands for God. Uh, it's like mm, something told us don't ruin ourselves. I can't remember. It's like don't ruin yourself is what drugs stands for. No, don't ruin yourself. God said that's what it. That's what drugs is stand for. It's that's like it's too much. Slogan. And it's like it is too much going on. Listen, that's how you know too much is going on when it's too hard to explain. Like. It's all weird Lupe shit. And that's how all Kojima games go with. They look beautiful. They play great. The action is great. But then it's like, but what happened in the story? Like, okay, so like this nigga got a baby clone. Well, but so don't worry about it, bro. The bosses are sweet. I know the bosses are going to be sweet. But it's like, it's, it's like, bro, but okay, let's put it like this. He had a like, ghost but outfit. Hold on, because some of the sweetest games, like, okay, like, well, that's why, to quote my nigga Sam Robstein, he said video games is the sweetest medium because it's where all the art styles have to be. Music, art, storytelling, character development, all that shit has to be in one video. And at the same time, art is subjective. So if you're playing the game and you're one of those people who want to get in all that story shit, you can. Or it might be like how you say, you fuck with it, other people fuck with it. So that means, hey, if you fuck with it, other people fuck with it, you deserve for somebody to be doing some shit that you fuck with, bro. And that's why and he deserves to do some shit that he wants to do and people appreciate it. So just like in the motherfucking, um, like, even games like motherfucking Dark Souls and shit, that like don't have a story at all. They're still world renowned because hey, it's kind of sweet. But the and but they're fucking hard to play. But they do hard. have a story. and Their story is fucked up because it's, it's got a lore. Gonna... But you no, I, I didn't mean to yeah. say that. It's okay. got a lore, but just like Dark Souls and motherfucking Bloodborne and shit, you have to take it upon yourself to learn that lore. 
You just jump in that game, play that shit. It's like, hey, look, everything's hard. This game about to beat your ass, but hey, when you finally beat shit, you're gonna feel accomplished. And if you want a story, it's in there. And I'm gonna be honest with you, it's very convoluted. It's gonna take a lot of time, a lot of reading. And niggas is cool with that. And there's some niggas out there that wanna nerd out and know it and understand but, it. And there's some. But that's how that I feel about like that. They just wanna and then like the, what this is looking like, the Metal Gear story for sure. And then just like. Kingdom Hearts too, like great games. Love them. Well, I won't say that about Metal Gear Solid, but I get Kojima's thing. But it's like you're so convoluted, and that takes away a little bit from because like what I was saying was like I felt like you could have had even bigger masterpieces if it was just a little bit more welcoming. Yeah, like, but fuck that because like he's one of those people that's like, bro, I'm not about to sit here and dumb down my vision and dumb down what I wanted to do. Just because I think it would quote unquote do better, which, which you, when you want to say quote unquote do better, Metal Gear Solid is one of the most renowned games in the fucking world, bro. Like, fucking Kingdom Hearts, like all them games, yeah, and then what's also a, a brilliant testament to that is with all the extra bullshit, it's still good to be able to fall back on, like you said, hey, if you don't want to read all that story mode, it's still a good ass fucking action self game, bro. It's going to give you some good moments. It's got the the most trademark, that little exclamation mark and that sound of niggas catching you. Like, hey, that's enough for some people. But that's I'm, enough for it to go down here. Definitely, history. but I feel like for me personally, like, the, a lot of these things, like, I would check out more of you if this story wasn't. Because, yeah, cause try I, to figure I, out who, but, but then. Because for, the for me on the story, I'll say this. Like, but if you make seven games, you're, that's going to happen. I'll, You've got, like, 12 games. I'll say, but nah, but there's. Certain games to where like they're long, like for instance I can understand like especially when you come you up make, with a story that you gotta make make sense later on. But like, you come up with some shit like, oh, you make a whole game out of this and then now you gotta stick with that because now it's. But game. for instance, I can go with like metal. Listen to the Mass Effect fuck up game, not my thing, but the story wasn't hard to get because they actually let you shape it. What it, my thing with like Metal Gear or like even like King Hearts shit like that, they get like their long-standing series. But they're also kind of switching up. Kingdom Hearts' problem is it puts too many different games on different platforms. Like that's no, but what? Problem. But no, it's like all right. It's not like a series that has one convoluted part. It's a series that like every part. Like there's like seven different snakes. There's like big. There's big boss, solid snake, water snake, liquid snake. There's some snake that was exclusive to like snake. 2.5, like, Metal Gear Solid so 2.5. Big like, Boss is the mom. Big Boss, or no, Big Boss is, or maybe it's Big Mom. Nah, Big Mom is One Piece. Big <coughs> Boss was a girl. She was the mom. She had, like, two, I guess she had two kids. I think that that was Solid Snake and Liquid Snake. I think Liquid Snake became evil. He went crazy or some right. shit. He turned into Liquid Ocelot, and then he died, and they took his arm off and put him on another nigga, then the arm to control the one nigga. Not but even Solid not, Snake, Solid Snake ain't even the real. He he's a direct clone of I think Big Boss. But even the one in this game, mm, in Metal Gear Five, the Big snake Boss. you play with isn't even Solid Snake. He's a soldier they convinced he was Solid Snake. Hmm. Yeah, they changed his face. His name is Venom Snake, and he got like this fucking thing. Cause it's like, oh my god, like I didn't even bother with story. It's like every fan I've read before, I know I'm not gonna get out. They all do be on trash. Like it's just like Kingdom Hearts be on the same shit. Like it's like it's. Is it like when you're known for being just kind of alluded, like I mean I guess it's cool like you said, he gets to do whatever the fuck he wants. And it's like people are like, going to look damn. into it. People who really care about it, they're gonna look into it and it's good to fall back on at least at the end of the day. Hey look, Metal Gear Solid 5, like Guns of the Patriots, I bought that shit, I played that shit, that was the first Metal Gear Solid I was able to beat all the way through. That end fight scene with Liquid Ocelot, sweet as fuck. The whole game, sweet as fuck. Like it really showed what the PlayStation 3 could do. Like the PlayStation 3 dropped. That shit came bundled with it. That shit was gorgeous. You can and you watch and you and it's beautiful to see them make games like that where you're like you're watching footage. You're like, how the fuck did he get that and do that? Like, cause it's just that deep. You see niggas smoking cigarettes, taking pisses, hiding in trash cans, putting them all time. So it gets crazy. And I, I fuck with that shit. And Kingdom Hearts is convoluted too. It, it's all spread out, but who like the that, fuck knows? Like that's the only thing. Like especially for story driven games, like. Damn, like, 
at least for like on the other side of like stealth action type games like Glass Hitman, like it's a story in it, but it's one of those where they feel like look, there's a whole bunch of loose shit that happened. Like it's three minute it's like all together in Hitman, it's like the new one, it's like there's eight missions, maybe like twenty minutes of cutscenes. They just like look like look bruh, like here's how we found you. Here's we what don't you even doing. talk though. Like, so that's why if it, and it's for different shows, different problems, bro. Like, like you can just jump in and play that shit. And build your own sandbox of just murder. So I fuck with it. You see the new Black Ops uh, Battle Royale mode? That's the other thing everybody's yeah. doing. And I might check out Call of Duty again because of that eventually. Oh, I know. I'm getting that. Mine is pre-ordered. I don't know if I'm pre-ordering, but I'm definitely going to look into it. Cause well, it's sweet. I definitely had to pre-order it because I'm, I'm really trying to smoke niggas. Like, I've been playing Call of Duty a while lately. Yeah, I'm like, I think I'm gonna swerve back a little bit. Like, I was, what, the battle royale mode is like a, it's, 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 it's like, the it's, it's, it's the new, like, like how Fortnite or PUBG was. So it's Call of Duty spin on that. You can, um, you can heal while, run, while running. So it's not like Fortnite where you, or PUBG where you gotta stop and heal, especially when you're on your way into the little inner circle and shit. So you can heal while running, skydive hella fast to your points and shit like that. Cause like, getting to the ground and getting to the guns is a very, very big part of, uh, you got uh, perks in battle royale, huh? You got perks in their battle royale mode. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I wish and you coach, about it. You still got kill streaks. I don't know, but I know you do get. Um, they said I, what I do like is it's a mix of all the multiplayer maps. Like all them, like it's a whole bunch of. They loosely connect. Yeah, them. like like all the like you know what I'm saying like those the, are their like, towns. And shit. Yeah, they all like separated and shit, but it's all like multiplayer maps, and some of them are even infested with zombies. So when you just I go regular shit, that. zombies just be coming out and shit like that. There's little bosses in there to get extra guns and shit. So uh, it's super fast paced. It's Call of Duty, so it's it's a good way to just capitalize on that shit. Like, it's, it's like how do you feel about zombies by itself, though? Zombies by itself, I I like zombies, but I'm not really super good at zombies. I'm I'm appreciative of Call of Duty as even though I don't play every installment. I'm appreciative of what Call of Duty offers the video game culture for the simple fact that I do think that they do give people their bang for their buck. They try to. I love story mode, but and I feel like I don't get as much Call of Duty as I used to, so I don't really invest in on that much. But I this understand. This is the first time they took it out. And I didn't even know that they took it out. Well, I didn't know, but I wasn't even thinking about that. But yeah. But that, the, again, they're focusing more on what, like, Call of Duty is essentially, it's just like how sports games are multiple games. They're essentially at multiple games. Like in story modes, you really in story mode games, you really get that. You get your story mode, you get extra little challenges and shit, and then that's it. Your game kind of has so much replay playability. Right. Certain games, Call of Duty was giving us three games for a while. They was like, we're gonna give you a story mode game, we're gonna give you zombies, which is this whole thing in itself. It's like a horror mode, but it's got an overarching like thing of, of Easter eggs and objectives and an overall goal that you can accomplish that we really don't even tell you how to do. So you can play that shit and try to figure it out just on your own for who knows however long it takes you. Or you can get on YouTube and learn it and even still that's gonna take you time to learn how to do it fully. And then you also got online multiplayer where you got maps that we're developing, perks, like you know what I'm saying? So they was offering you a good repertoire of shit. So to go now to now they got zombies online and they PUBG Battle Royale shit, they still are essentially giving you three games. Because I don't think that they getting rid of zombies. You know what I'm saying? No, they not. And I don't think that they're going to get rid of just straight My up thing Call of Duty zombies. multiplayer. And Battle Royale, you got to get it on it. Like, yeah. everybody's Now, the Battle Royale, Royale I'm excited for. But for me, zombies, I can... It's something about endless runners. Like, I'm one of those I need satisfaction. And just playing as long as you can... Like, because even after you like solve the end, like the lot of like cutscenes, it's one of those things where I jump back to it. It's like, God damn it. But <laughs> let me just win game. Like, I suck at, I can take losing really hard. So, knowing that there's all, the only way to actually play this is to lose, it's like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> get the fuck out of here, video well, game. I mean, you can beat zombies. Like, but you can never beat beat it. Like, you can. Yeah, when you get that, when you beat the final boss on zombies, it's done. Like, you beat it. But that it's just that's what's so difficult about it. It's like a super huge hard Easter egg. But, but there, like in the, you can beat zombies. Like 
You can get to the right. end and fight like a super boss and win that shit. But that's not how folk really want to win. Like folk, like the main point for most folk on zombies is like, how many levels can I get? But that's what I'm saying. It's like Texas, right? But, like, but that's know. but that's how you're saying most people want to play it. And I'm, that's why I'm saying it's so sweet about zombies. You can play it as a horror mode, but it does have an end. Yeah, it does pro- have it no. has a whole bro. It has a whole all of the shit that you go and do shit, and grab shit, and put the shit, yeah. in, do this and that shit. Like it eventually inevitably like the leads, horrors on the on Black Ops Three or like the president stuff. But it just mm. it leads to an inevitable end. You can inevitably beat zombies like that. that I just got, I can't agree with you on that part because you do you can't beat zombies. Uh, all right, so let's just get to the, uh, the next part. Uh, Soldier Boy had a subway. But it got closed because nobody showed up to work. That was his fault, bro. He picked the wrong workers. <laughs> his homies did not show up to work. That so. shit is so bad. Like, it's, it's not hilarious, but it is hilarious. It's hilarious if it happened to so. It's the type of random shit so the boys would get into. It's like, it's not that you can't believe niggas didn't open a subway, but it's the fact that it's Soldier Boy randomly owns a subway. And niggas still a nigga up at his subway. Like, that's I want to see how it happened. Like, did somebody call him? Like, yo, we at your subway. It say open, but nobody's here. Like, what happened? Nah, you know it's some regular shit. He was beating Soldier Boy that day. Because, like, Charlamagne said, it was, no, Envy said, he was like, did he just buy a subway to get sandwiches? <laughs> like, I feel like he had did that shit. He remembered he had that subway. He was like, oh, shit. We're going to go get a couple <laughs> subs. Like, yo, what the fuck is this? Like, this whole business hour is like, because he didn't say that shit like he had got that call earlier. He just found out, like, these niggas. That's terrible. You trying to get niggas out the hood, they just can't open a fucking subway. Like, he hired, you think he hired his homies or? Nah, I think, uh, he, nah, I think he did it regularly because I feel like his homies ain't going to take no subway job from him. You know how homies is. Is entitled like bro, so I can't be your whole manager. Like, Yo, you, know, or, or, you want me to work at the night? Now it was <laughs> niggas like just random little badass kids and shit. He was like, just imagine you and growing up being a big ass rapper, <laughs> and out of all the jobs you can have, me and Marte do. You like, ain't hey, nigga go run this rallies because you know we fuck with the two from five. <laughs> like, like nigga, every what? so often we'll come to like, town, bro. Like, bro. You don't gotta do nothing. Just hire some bitches, bro. Fuck all the bitches that work there. Nah. Make them niggas do the work. Like, bro, you this. gotta. And then we we go do the job. We hire motherfuckers, and then you just so happen to be like, you know, I'm on some rallies today. You come to work, and be like, hey, we're, you calling us? Like, nah, nigga, you told us to hire some people. We hired a manager, right there. Wow. ain't nobody here. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> that nigga Davies beat up that uh, dude on the boat. Yeah, they beat that nigga's ass on the boat, and then they motherfucking uh, he turned himself in. The dude was talking about he has no idea why Davies and them beat him up. They, I'm like, bro, for real, for real, you waited on that ass whooping because they was all the way, all the way on the boat. You, you just, was all the way off the boat. You gotta do some rappers these days. Just don't beat niggas up for no reason. Like, hey. it's not the 90s anymore. If a rapper be, and his friends beat you up, you did something. And they have to invoke old rap rules like, oh, nah. Speaking <laughs> like, of rappers beating people up, you know, a little YB and Amir come in here to Entourage and fuck some niggas up up in London. And some niggas shot Robin for a shame. Mm-hmm. Man, that what? nigga was ready or I'm putting niggas all over the place. It was crazy. Like, That's hilarious, though. YB and Amir was? Yeah, like... That's the perfect time for like, niggas, it's like for niggas to get footage and see, like, this, don't fuck with me. Don't play I with me. It's a good thing, though, because, you know, nobody believe them niggas because they got, they became friends off the Xbox Live. Who? With the YBN group. Oh. Like, they used to play Grand Theft Fire online together. And then they started rapping? Yeah, like, the main dude in the mid, at one point, him and, there's some niggas, the dude, you know how the 18-year-old that was Dave Black China? Almighty. Yeah, Almighty J. So, okay, so apparently they was feuding back in like 2012 on Xbox Live and releasing diss songs. And they were like, we both hot. We just want to click up. And then they met the other, like the rest of them online and shit. Like, that Xbox Live group. So, of course, niggas don't believe they real. So, them jumping some niggas, that's going to be 
That's gonna look good for him. Like, yeah, nigga. And it show love to the Xbox community. Like, bro, you can do anything over here, man. And yeah, bro. Like, like apparently they had a real big game. And they were like, yeah, bro, we just gonna start rapping. That's a crazy transition. Like, they need to them beat that nigga up. So let's talk Joe Budden versus Sci High, man. How y'all feeling about this, man? Joe Sci High dropped a whole diss track. But Joe Budden been talking mad shit about Sci High. Joe Button, Joe Button, I like listening to the podcast because they really are his niggas. Because they be like, Joe, you was talking mad shit. Like, you be saying he dick riding in Kanye. You calling him, saying that he be calling Kanye Massa. And, oh, Massa said, I'm going to give me a set of song EP too. Like, you think a nigga not going to say nothing back to that shit? And then he be saying, like, but he was he was saying, like, in a playful way, but he still was talking shit. He's like, but I told you, Sai High, I'll line your ass up, nigga. I'll line, I would light your ass up in rap and shit, and you know that shit. Like, so, Sai High drops some bars. Joe Budden talking about, he too busy. You know I'm too busy. You know I'm doing love and hip-hop for these podcasts and stuff like that. Plus, I'm a podcaster right now, so you know I can't do a rap against you. I'm too busy. Plus, he was saying, you can't even talk to me because you ain't even did the shit that I done did. Like, you, you shouldn't even be talking to me. Like, that's my problem with niggas. Like, but then, like, shit, them being as homies, I still point out, like, bro, but, yeah, the nigga ain't got a whole bunch of albums, but he been writing for Kanye, bro. He been right. so busy writing for Kanye, like, he just can't rap for him, bro. Yeah, like, plus, like, he is sweet. And you was talking shit, Joe. You can't talk right. shit to him <clears throat> and then think he's not supposed to say and shit. It, but... It will be a good one though, like, but I think Joe Joe put in the best position though now, cause now niggas want to rap. So it's the first time in his life not rapping make niggas want to hear Joe Button rap so bad. Yeah. That is the uh, best promo ever, bro. Like, uh, oh, y'all remember? He's like, no, you know I'm there. Like, it was, <laughs> it's the same shit he did in the motherfucker Hollow Dog fight. He was Bella Hollow Dog. He's like, y'all don't want it. All right, I'm there. I'm good. Now, I quit. Think about it for a nigga who always felt underappreciated. Guess how, imagine how that must feel. The fact that you find telling niggas, all right, y'all don't want y'all to rap. Y'all not gonna rap. Now he's like, bro, you better fucking battle me right now, bro. We were, nah, like, it'd be, it'd be, like, <laughs> like, 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 don't go super hard. Niggas were like, man, you better go back and retire again. Y'all wanna hear that shit. But that's the best place to be for Joe Button right now. Like, he's holding the ball. Like, his whole career is like, I wanted to pay attention. Now the fact that I'm not even rapping niggas is losing. He's like, just holding the ball like him. He still talk, like you said, he do his podcast shit. He still talk like, I'm ever gonna play? Nah, bro, I'm not rapping. He talk I'm gonna rap. Shit. I've rapped enough for my life. <laughs> I'm over it. <laughs> like, bro, stop playing, bro. I know you still rapping somewhere under your breath or something. Like, no, bro, don't rap. Right, no, right, 16s or something. He's like, nah, bro. I'm <laughs> never rapping again. I'm never going to rap again. That's like when your sweet art friend just started rapping. Like, bro, you just ain't drawing nothing. No, bro. It's over with. <laughs> you still don't do, you don't think about sweet pictures? <laughs> right. You don't draw your phone? Nope. Nigga, the bitch is like, so you just ain't talking no bitches. I was like, nah, bro, I grew up. Like, get the <laughs> fuck out of here, bro. I really like the evolution of the Joe Budden podcast over there. I fuck with Maul, and I fuck with Rory, and I ain't gonna cap. I think that whole Maul and uh, uh, short shit, I think that that made me stop liking the Brilliant Idiots a little bit. Like, I just don't listen to it as much anymore. I don't know why, and I think that that might have something to do with it. But. It wasn't that. They just, like, Charlotte ain't been doing other shit. Like, and I don't listen to it when it's just shorts. And I guess. Like, I don't, like, I don't listen to it when that's it's just That's what Joe Budden was saying, too. He was like, bro, that show falling apart. I'm about to be done. He said that shit. Because I'm thinking, because he went on a book tour, and then it was like, just shorts and people. Then it was like, shorts and large on his own side podcast. Like, well, now he been doing his side podcast, but he been on like, like, a... <laughs> He, died. he just got a new deal. And I stopped listening when it started getting extra political because like, after a while when Donald Trump was president, so much Donald Trump shit was happening. I was like, I do not want to hear this. Mm-hmm. And then he's like, you know, once you got a habit with shit, it's a rap most of the time. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm with you. I haven't listened to that in a minute. You ever see the meet Neil about the year he started acting? He got a, heard he about me in some movie called 12 Seconds, I think. Yeah, I heard about he it. Was in, he, he had a movie before. He was in... Hey, it was in a movie when he had braids. I seen it. It was a funny movie. But I'm glad. I'm waiting for this new album to drop. This, I'm just waiting. I like him or I'll say I had a little back and forth. Where? Yeah, because you know how the media is. The media will fuck your head up. 
And basically him and Cardi B just spotted out a little too much together. Who? Me and Cardi? Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, right. Doing what? Are they on tour together? No, Mingo is on tour with Drake right now. I'm talking about Cardi B and me. No, there ain't no tour. That's what but, they had dinner. But Offset, all she had his condo. Like they just. So what did Offset say? Because he sounded like he already lost. Because he upset his wife might be cheating, and he talking about it in public. He sounded like he already lost and insecure. What did he say? Because you're not allowed to say it. Like, like, it's all like little subliminal shit. I can't think of it off the top of my head. Because that but shit. When is they going out to dinner in that condo and shit? Where are these pictures popping up from? You're not. You know, you know, you know how paparazzi is. And then, like, you Cardi B. You like the. Besides Nicki Minaj, you like the biggest female in the game right now. Yeah, this like, oh, shit. But at the same point, yeah, it's hey, a bill too. Like, Quavo, uh, not Quavo, but all second ever just. Like, you can't be a celebrity, especially sub whining in your feelings. But about that's his pop. baby mom. And his, that's his wife. They but it's still sad. Year old. Like, niggas still, like, laugh at Kanye trying to check folks talking about, like, Kim K being a hoe. And they've been married forever. Same thing with Austin. It's like, bro, I get it. I get it. She a wife and you Saudi. But that's nigga. And that's, you too cool. For say. his image. It's not cool. Like, it's, re- I get it, but like, you supposed to be the nigga that can get any bitch, even if this shit fall off. You can't be like, bro, so you just gonna be out for dinner? <laughs> like, get the fuck out of here. You supposed to be all set. You can't, like, bro, but so niggas just be getting that. dinner every day. Like, okay, like. Listen, man, all set of a foreign gangster, man. That's so, all. He's just trying to love his wife, and she out with me, And then she trying to play. But that means he got caught up with a couple of little things, and now she's trying to. And it looked worse because he got a bit like, oh, I think Meek Mill could fuck my bitch. That's what he really saying, like, Meek Mill, you fucking my bitch, and you can fuck my bitch, and I'm feeling away about it. Like, yeah, that's what he really saying. Like, Meek Mill, you fucking my bitch, and you can fuck my bitch, and I'm feeling away about it. Like. That's what it, I mean, he is rich and he, bro, if she liked the niggas, bro, he did just get out of motherfucking jail. He but like, he admitted he won. Meek Mill already won. Like, bro, you think I'm fucking your wife? Even you know, if he, your, wife, your wife and the brother of your children. It, even child. if he told, even if Meek Mill told him no, he still think he might have fucked his wife. Like, that nigga just saying he ain't fucked my wife because he don't want no problems with me. <laughs> like... I wanted the nigga to go So what do you think he's supposed to do? Just not feel anything at all? Not say anything at all? I'm not saying I don't get it, but I'm talking about images. And certain images don't go well. Like, for instance, like... So what, then what if he doesn't say anything in society? It's like, bro, so... That's your whole motherfucking wife. She just out. But think about it, though. Like, if he, if he didn't, it looks like he not worried about it. Because he knows baby mom. And worse about it, I feel like it would have went way under the radar if... Mike didn't start off with so all set being salt tweeting about Meek Mill piping his life down. <laughs> like, that's what the, how it started. It wasn't like, oh shit, did you know, like, Cardi B and Meek Mill been kicking it? It was so all set fell away <laughs> about, like, that. It's just not cool. I get it. I'm not saying he's wrong, but it's like, bro, you can't be a cool street rapper and then be like, hey, bro, you fucking my baby mom on Twitter. Like, so you saying just fly under the radar, don't say nothing. Either shit. say nothing, pull up on him, preferably don't say nothing. You never want to make it look like, I think you fuck my bitch. But he hurt, bro. He, what if he hurt? He on tour right now. You feel me? And I mean, what if he do think that she was like, why he ain't, well, he can't just be, well, I feel you. Maybe you saying like, he should just keep it and say it to her. If I was his publicist, I would be like, bro, that was not cool. Not that he's not unreasonable, but it's like, yeah. Like, so it, you can't take Wiz Khalifa being tough. Why? Because his image just doesn't go with it. I'm not saying he can't be tough, but it don't match. All set being like, bro, do. you fucking my bitch, bro. Like, he the nigga who fucked people's bitches. Not the other way around. <laughs> like, That's what happened when you can't be with Cardi B. Like, she, you know what I'm saying? And then it's like, bro, what the fuck is she doing with me at his condo and at dinner? Like, right, why y'all can't just have dinner? Is, 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 is but then he like, told the world that, like, it's like he's nudged the world, like, hey, bro, like, why? He said, like, why? he nudged the world, like, hey, bro, why? So the bitches came about the paparazzi, up? Right? Yeah, the, the, the world, he on tour. The world nudged him, being like, hey, you see him? Right, right, hey, that's like, 
me at work, but then you're like, hey, hey, you see your bitch, bro? I just have a look like, nigga, what? Bro, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But think about it, though. If you like, where my baby at? That's my first question. Like, why the fuck are you not with the child? But on the flip, though, if you're really confident about you having a situation locked down, your reaction isn't going to be to tweet, I know niggas better stop going to dinner. Like, like, what? My reaction is going to be to question her, like, what the fuck was y'all at dinner for? Even if you send that that text, sending that text is cool. But tweeting it is when it's not cool. I'm gonna be like, man, like you tell you me just, funny, nigga. You just sub just your wife on you Twitter. You trying to be funny? Because like, that Philly shit is dead. The six is damn way. You can't sub tweet your wife. Yo, damn ever. get LeBron. <laughs> Like, bro, chill the fuck out because you can't go back to jail or you can join your dad and die. See, dude. and now we'll be six nine. Wow. <laughs> right. six nine, anyway, let's transition. Y'all seen that nigga Kanye at fucking Saturday Night Live. Yeah, Talking about they was bullying him, trying to wear a MAGA hat. He even took the brim off of it, switched the brim around, said he took all the negative energy out of it. <laughs> <laughs> he is wild. <laughs> he, like, he really tripping, bro. That y'all didn't come bro. out, and then it did come out. And because he's going to Africa. He said it's coming out in two months. <laughs> but you know why? Because he had to go to Africa and re record it. re record <laughs> Like, <laughs> this nigga is. <laughs> Those mans. I got, it. I, got it. I got it. I got it. go to Africa and re record it. But like, then, it don't take two months to record something you already did. No, did. but he trolling hard, and it's like, all right, so y'all said I'm cool and I ain't black. Well, I'm going to the blackest face ever. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> like, you been to Africa? No. All right, well, I went to Africa, and they loved me. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, and I recorded your album. Let me like, that one. Let me that one more time. Man, bro, that nigga uh, I, that nigga honest, sh- I, I don't know. Like, I don't want to say I'm not going to listen to it because I, I, I already said I was, it once and then it was like a week before it came out. I'm like, I can't wait till the Jeezy album come out. <laughs> like, he made, that nigga just make some good ass music. I can't help it. I mean, it's just his it's answer. about the hat, though. <laughs> not, can he trolling, bro. He was super he be talking about that <laughs> shit. Like, they tell you you can't wear it. He's, bro, he's full of shit, bro. All right, fuck it. Y'all he's trolling. He's, he's got to be trolling because it's like one of those things where, like, I can't, I don't believe Kanye is that dumb to think that the actual meaning of it, like, changes just because, like, oh, yeah, bro, like, that's a totally different hat, bro. This is not even the hat they made, bro. No, what Kanye is saying is, or even like, he's saying just Rush. because I wear this hat does not mean that I'm a racist. I know what he's just saying. because I agree with one thing that this nigga says. Does not mean I agree with anything. I get that. But this one I was saying, it's like when he tried to, like, remember when he tried to reclaim the Confederate flag a couple years ago? Do you feel like, do do you feel like I'm thinking freely right now? It's one of those things where it's like. Actually, I I don't think you're thinking at all, actually. (laughs) (laughs) He was like. (laughs) He started giving Kanye out of his bitch. He was there, listen, like. Back, but him and Dave, like that TV oh, shit, they did a whole nother one for this one. Like, like you can't tell me to take it out. Like, bro, like this hat is like some troll for him, bro. Like, it's too unbelievable. Like, nah, bro. It's like when he tried to he tried to reclaim the Confederate flag. He just be doing dumb shit. Like, I'm so sweet. I can make this clearly racist shit, not racist, because I thought good about Kanye energy. Like, stop it, bro. Like. This nigga Kanye is wild, bro. Let him do him, bro. All right, so the six nine case got pushed back because from the gun charge and the FBI, FBI raid. That shit is gonna get dropped. I don't mean to cut you off. Now go ahead, you tell about it. I don't know about the six nine. Man, bro, that was just so dumb shit. Cause you know he on probation. He got they trying to get him to get some some time, and he really. They tell him to chill out on the social media tip, but... He but can't. That's his entire that's where he, job. That's, his money, is, that's where all his money is at. So, but you know, the legal system, like... Bro, no, okay. But he gonna get off because they gonna try him because, like, they hate the shit, but he got enough money 
Like, if, once you get to a certain tax bracket, you can get away with certain shit. And they're like, all right, bro, we he just is, gonna find you real. He truly heavy. inside the industry now. He really inside the industry. And honestly, I feel like they just want them to make a trade with him. Honestly. Who is Trey? But the moment, the first I time I seen the video of him, my very first video of me seeing him, it said he was playing, he was in a van driving, just playing his bank account. It was before, like, 6 9 was even, like, 6 9 3 for 3 on the billboards. <laughs> that shit said $22 million. I'm like, how does nigga got $22 million? Questions that you never ask black men. Right, especially was, a young black man. Man, like, the other day, the bro, up. I was on the east side with my super hood niggas, bro, and I dab this thing, and I was like, bro, I feel like I see you somewhere before. He was like, probably, probably. I'm like, yeah, don't don't say that to niggas no more. <laughs> don't say that to niggas no more. Like, it's just certain shit you like, like yeah, that was it's probably not the thing. The nigga, he probably because like you can just feel the energy. This nigga probably like the whole night. He thinking like I'm like, yeah, I'm right, this nigga. It was something we more school. mutual than that. Like, just, I think we went to school together or something. We ended up getting cool eventually, but it's just certain shit that you just yeah. learn. You can just pick up, like, if you just watching energy and you just feel the energy, like, you can just feel that shit. You can just tell by the nigga and be like, baby, uh, my hey, yeah. let's not ask no more questions, though. Right. <laughs> like, Cause oh, you you making me you making me nervous. I'm like, bro. Cause boy. especially if you had left with the school and it didn't match up, then it's like, oh, I definitely know I'm on some street shit. Like, <laughs> like what the fuck? Let's like, go to. It wasn't even that. It was a familiar what? thing. After he said probably, I was like, you right. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Shit. Fuck it. <laughs> Like, I ain't even. You know what I'm saying? I'm in here. You definitely was supposed to dig like, deeper though. Hell, fucking yeah. no. Hell fucking no. Cause you can't, you still can't back down, like bro. You, uh, nah, but no, cause I might not know that nigga, and I don't need to be. You don't, bro. That was the whole. You missing the whole point. You don't dig too motherfucking deep in them motherfucking situations, nigga. Hell no. But then I, I feel it. But then you gotta re dig deep, cause then you don't wanna look like a loser. Of what you Wasn't like a loser. I fucking fell back, cause that nigga he thinking too. He like shit. You feel me? Cause it could go both ways. And you should have pressed him. <laughs> Nah, because the whole time a nigga was looking at me like that. Imagine that shit, though. Like, like nah, nigga, I know nigga, you, bro. Where I know you from? Like, we're I gonna know figure you. Out. We're going to figure out right fucking now. Like, nah. Well, motherfucker. All right, so y'all saw that Nikki told Future that she couldn't be on that drip by Cardi. Because uh, suppose it was originally that song was supposed to be Future and Cardi, just them. But then Nikki was like, nah, fuck that shit. If you get on that motherfucker song, you're not about to be on my tour with me. Which is tragic because they had to push the tour back or cancel it, whichever one you want to look at, but because it wasn't doing well. But he hopped off the song, motherfucking uh, Migos had to jump on it, which did well, by the way. I'm pretty sure it charted. It's got the Sprite commercial, which I fuck with. That shit's hard. But she ain't, she did that. But I think that they said that uh, Future might have been cool with it because he, you know what I'm saying? He possibly did that shit to designer, so. No, I feel like that's some shit that happened in the industry. Yeah. Like, they do politics and shit happen at, like, think about it. Politics happen in call centers and, like, McDonald's and, like, regular jobs. They definitely happen in the industry. Like, they happen in wrestling video games, all type of weird shit happen. Like, it seems like, look, I'm sweet, but for us to keep having a sweet relationship, you're going to have to not do sweet shit with them. At least I tell you, you can't, though. Like, Think about 50 Cent, all had to be started with that. Like, he was pissed off like Fat Joe and Jenkins did a song with Ja Rule. I'm surprised he like, didn't go and uh, uh, let Mary J. Blige. Because <laughs> he, was like, bro, he, he she got saved because like, he knew she wasn't in the street. Like, lucky. Like, imagine if she was a female rapper, bro. It would have been over for her. <laughs> he definitely came at her, though. Well, he did, but well, he should have. Bro, that's what 50 was on that. You only on one side, bro. Either the one side or the other side. You know. I feel it. I feel it on the side. Like, and I that got Dr. Dre and Eminem backing. On the one hand, they did have some like real ass shit that happened, so I get that. But still, like, like, bro, like you were from like reasonable, like, oh, y'all cool to like. I saw y'all playing basketball at the park, and anybody we would play games with that nigga, like, my whole, he was like, whoa, bro. I just dabbed him up at the corner store, bro. Like, nah, bro. Wow. 
Um, you know him, bro. That's my whole interview. Like, now you know him, I was watching that Black Chicago be like, and the nigga was about to get her get some cheeks, but the other nigga had to get a condo. So he was like, bro, come on, bro. I gotta go to the store, get a G station, get a condo, bro. He's like, all right, bro, just go. He's like, bro, just come on, bro. As soon as we go, the sooner we can get back. But I know that he had to walk, he had to drive. Niggas walk, bro. It's the, the way they be doing it in Chicago, bro, the fucking them videos, bro, they be like, if niggas just see each other, you know, the fuck in the gas, they just like, damn, I saw some niggas. I got a fight. It's like a Pokemon battle. You just be like, what is this? <laughs> Play that shit. I've not seen this uh, shit. see, I played it a minute. Hold but, on, so I wanted to say. Is that, that the corporate nigga? nigga? Like, yeah. Okay. Shout out to that nigga Dave East. I listened to that motherfucker. Um, that's, is that the album name? Or the yeah, song? with Hell and Styles. Yeah, that shit hard. Shout out to Dave East. He be putting on for all the old rappers. Like, I like niggas who make you appreciate the old rappers. Because they still sweet. Like, even down to the Wu-Tang Forever shit that we listen to with Logic. Like, oh, I thought you were calling him old. Okay, yeah. Even now that the fucking Wu-Tang Forever song that that nigga Logic did, like, it's good to see, like, them do shit with them because it forces you to listen to the older niggas. And they be like, bro, they still are harder than you, bro. Like, that whole shit, like, not harder than you, because A Beef was definitely snapping on that shit. He was snapping on that shit hard as fuck. But the other niggas was snapping. The niggas snapping on that people snapping on that shit. And then the whole, they had the whole locks in the last song. Yeah. That shit was hard. I think it's said tear off the show. But that, I think that's one good thing about music, at least, like, I'm aggressive, like, after, like, so, like, you can be an old nigga, old person, older person, and still be sweet if you got musical talent. Like, at least a really, really good one. Like, Method Man, like Wu Tang, like Ghostface, nigga, like that, probably gonna be sweet. Rap. But you can start seeing but, it depreciate a little bit but, sometimes. But even still, though, like, some, like, it's one of those things, like, they might not have the best verse ever, but they can still do it. Like, I definitely wouldn't want to see Michael Jordan right now play basketball. But they're like, nah. Like, Cause at that point it's like it's just the athletic like at least that's the talent like you'll be able to rap for it like Joe Budden and the friends nigga ain't rapping like two years like nah bro I'm gonna always be sweet at rapping bro like don't worry about it like it's not like oh huh, bro my nah. knees is broke I can't it's, jump I can't dunk <laughs> like it's one more shit talking uh, day away to him will happen to drop a verse because they've been talking a lot of lot nah bro he don't have to because he hold all the cards. And Joe Budden ain't never been shy of just doing the opposite of what people think he should do. Mm-hmm. That's his whole thing. Like, uh, I should drop an album. Nope. No. <laughs> I'm not dropping. I'm not even going to rap on the podcast a little bit. Like, so we saw the motherfucking Dragon Ball Super trailer. New movie Second coming Broly. out. You new, new Broly. With the one in English. Yeah, it's going to be a motherfucking. It's going to be. They're making Broly canon now? Is that what happened? Yeah. yeah. You're part of the official story now. So, my thing is... And they is, added Goku's mom. That is sweet. I did see that. That's dummy hard. Beautiful. What I'm thinking is, is how does... Did they never meet Broly until they had an adult maybe in this trailer? Is that what's going on? Look, this is what they did. You know how he was there, right? They were doing a super... Th- uh, doing a tournament. They brought... It. All the universes back. Mm-hmm. They just was like, "Fuck it, we're just gonna rewrite his universe." Now that's not even that. Well, I, it's like you just said the movies are no longer count. Like you know how the movies is for animes anyway. They really count. So none of that count. And what they doing is they bring him into canon, but they since he now official, they just change it to where like remember when Goku not Goku but Frieza blew up Namek, not Namek Vegeta. So they doing it to where like Brawley, like in his movie, he was there, but this time it's official. Him and his dad get sent to another planet, and now Frieza after Super just ends up finding him. Guessing is what happened. Like he's been a been. My thing is, is like, did they know Broly? Because I mean, Goku. No, nah, they was all kids. Goku, yeah, Goku and them was still yeah. So they was like, so I'm like, yeah, okay. But I'm like, damn, so. Oh, yeah, so and then remember, Goku got had amnesia too, and that's still there. Mm-hmm. So it was like he didn't even know what he was saying. So yeah, I think it's one of those things. It was like, like you know how they always find a random. Yeah, they shit. never even had because in the canon Dragon Ball Z, Bardock ain't never had no baby. Yeah, but like in his episodes, but yeah, now they changed it. Like 
Troy had done did this shit called Dragon Ball Midas, and that's when he first introduced it, like in the manga and shit. But now they just like it was like a side. You know how they do side stories. So now they just like yeah, all right. I like how they got it not being as huge. Like the huge. Yeah, you know, that, like normal size. But they definitely toned it real down since, like, size wise, since they came back. He Super gonna get Saiyan. huge though, because I mean, if he fighting against Goku and them as Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, damn near Ultra Instinct, like it's gonna be some work. Dude. That's the crazy part about it. it's fucking stories. Though, like, you gotta bring niggas just in that strong. It's like, bro, yeah, that's a, like, why would he have been that strong? Like, right? Like, what, what? is he doing? And why he, is he that strong? Like, so, like, hold on, y'all niggas sense everything. You can sense this nigga's as stronger than you right now. Like, what happened? Like, and stronger than you for a little grip, though. Because you just got this strong. Well, last topic, motherfucker, we saw the Enter the Spider-Verse trailer. That shit looked tight. Miles Morales. I like that art style. How was y'all feel about that art style? It was different. I'm like, I'm digging it. I'm... When I first seen that in the movies, I oh, never. How'd you like Venom? Oh, it's already out. Yeah. Mm. It was. It was cool. cool. Like I'm not gonna lie. It was cool. I was. I was very, very, very high. I didn't even know I was going to see it. It just happened. But and I, and I jumped a couple of times because that nigga just. It was eating niggas. I don't want to talk about. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna go watch it. I don't want to spoil it. Yeah, I don't want to spoil it, so I'm not. Uh, I didn't know that shit came out. Like, yeah, it was over the weekend, so. But it's a, it's a good ass movie. You should definitely it's good it. to hear a and, fan perspective, because I know online they've been killing it. Like, that's the fucked up part. Like, once the janitors were shit. Like, because like, I'm glad you said that, because now I'm gonna actually check it out. Cause I don't know anything I've seen. They're like, yeah, it's terrible. It's awful. He was too funny. Like, nah, it's like, Tom Hardy. Yeah, it's it's a rated R. I thought it was PG thirteen. Well, <laughs> it might be. He was eating niggas though. But so. you know, you do more shit than be like. It's like on TV, bro. Walking Dead could have never been on TV when we was kids. Mm-hmm. Like. Well, that's even TV mature, but still, it, that's still gotta be. Like, but even now, you can say nigga on TV. That's amazing. <laughs> like, you, you can say nigga, bitch, freely. You like, can say bitch. What show can you say nigga on TV? Boom Docs. Everybody says nigga on TV. If it's a black show, you allowed to say nigga on and TV. You can say, and you can say bitch on Fox. Yeah, CBS. <laughs> right? That's it's wild. They just they just keep adding customers. They're trying to get people back in the TV. Like, like, but like. American Horror Story, bro. They had a whole season where they was locked in this hotel and the, like, it's a horror, horror anthology, right? So they do every season is a new horror story. One of the seasons, the story was they was all trapped in this hotel and the big bad of the series was a sex demon. And he would rape them on TV. <laughs> that could have never been. She wasn't eating people and shit. The girl went like ate somebody for the pussy. Like it was like a demon with like a horn dick. Like they just, it was just intense. That's the season Lady Gaga was on. And it just it gets away with shit like that every season. Like it's just like they would break people. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Like it's just this is how crazy TV is. And like, like just Breaking Bad was on TV. That was the scary part of it. Like yeah. it would break people. Like just straight up. And then like, it's all air because they all like you don't you figure out of course as it goes, but like. You start finding like these niggas like dead ghosts and shit. So that's the anarchy was on TV. Yeah, like shit like that. Like Breaking Bad, like that that was old HBO. That was HBO when we was kids, like. Right. But I'm just hoping they bring the attitude here back since they look good. Cause they slowly bring him back all this from wild shit on TV, so I'm like, damn. Yeah, they did start going back to the like, all right, niggas just be fighting sometimes for no reason. Niggas be flipping people over in cars and shit. Right. But only thing though, they, I, would, I don't know, I don't know if they got full attitude, but at least like, the backstage shit always cool. Like, all right, nigga, like, I'm going to kill you on the way to the ring. Like, whoa. Right. I, I missed right. that. I swear I missed like, that. 
But I'm gonna throw you into this gate that's closed, like. Or your intro and your music is playing. But you don't come out there like where you at? Did the camera go back to the back? You just getting jade the fuck out. You like Nah the, what about when you just already like you pre knocked out like oh shit <laughs> like, <laughs> the Didn't that mean you being so minister like who knocked this nigga the fuck out last it's week? A, right, <laughs> it's a whole story. They start going to random niggas like, look bro, like I know you go dust and you do you don't do this shit, you do weird shit. You knock that nigga out? No, like, like nah bro. I was like, it's a whole story titty. hard, bro. To so the next paper review. I'm sucking a titty. And so I'm like, <laughs> sorry. Like, okay. Gonna find out it was Vince McMahon. No, it's always the nigga who starts the investigation. Anytime a wrestler nigga start trying to tell, they the one who did it. Like, or your like when Kane was looking for the nigga who pit Undertaker this week. Like, who pit my brother in the vegetables day? Like, you did it, bro. Like, no, nah, bro, I think it was you. Like, <laughs> I know, like, bro, we all knew you did it, bro. Like, when Triple H fucked Shawn Michaels up. Bro, Tyler <laughs> It was like, who like, did it? Who like, did it? It was a fact, like, bro, like, you know, that was tough, but, like, you know, if you don't become friends with your friends, bad things happen. <laughs> and then it was like, swear to Shawn, like, you know, I, I better read you, but I was going to attack you in a garage. You like, know what? I get out to Triple H. Because Shawn turned on everybody, but Triple H always turned on Shawn before Shawn could turn on everybody. Triple H turned on everybody, you know. To, like, he did the same thing. Anytime you take shit, he, you win too hard, he get mad. You know, not friends no more. <laughs> Randy Orton, when it's like, all right, bro. Like, you just gonna be winning titles out here, beat Chris Kamal, but I can't beat Chris Kamal. <laughs> right. like, he was like, how do you have the, t- the heavyweight title nah. in our crew? Like, nah. Nah. But he used to win the Royal Rumble. He tried to run that. He pretended he was JBL, tried to run that nigga over. Like, bro, this is definitely the nigga you need to be fighting, not me. Like, he tried to kill you. Like, <laughs> but of course, he's wrestling, so you gotta talk about it specifically at the arena when Batista just coming into the room, like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Hair like, but except for this one, it was one of those movie styles where Batista was on the other side of the wall, and you see Batista listening to him plot on it, like, this is so wrestling. Like, like you gonna do what to me? Like, her. Like, oh, guess who I'm facing that? Guess who I'm cashing in my Royal Rumble contract on Triple H? <laughs> you, like, oh, and he beat that nigga three straight times. Like, he was right. Like, you should get this nigga out of here. Well, for the Spider Verse trailer, Miles Morales, son was like. Universes, yeah. girls, Spider-Man. multiverses. Yeah, Gwen Stacy is Spider Man was in there. Um, the Spider Man. He had the motherfucking ones on. Um, there was a detective Spider Man that was black and gray, like the film. Spider Man. And then of course you know the pig Spider Man. Spider Pig, yeah. Anti Muslim Spider Pig. And Peter Parker without the mask, Spider Man. They got the suit on, but no, no, it's no, like no. oh, it's like chubby dad by Spider Man, and he right. trying to not be Spider Man. Like, look, bro, like, I don't know what happened, but you better win because I don't want to be Spider Man. Right, like, you got this. The kids got a game Friday, and like, <laughs> trying to <laughs> shit. he is trying to teach him how to web swing. Like, like, that gotta be a cool part about being a hero when you get to pass the medal. Like, hey, bro, like. I'm tired of this yeah. shit. Like, I don't been sweet so long, bro. Like, I'm tired of Spider-Man it. Spider-Man like, at first, because I don't know no hair at all that be on the pass the torch. Also, Batman, Batman, matter of fact, no matter of fact, Batman, one person got Arrow. the torch and actually lived on because Gohan got that shit for a little bit. And he definitely dropped the torch. How is Baruto doing? Is he holding the torch down? Or is I don't it? watch Baruto, but he looks sweet. <laughs> like, I'm it's not like, sure you know. You know how cartoons is for anime. Niggas always lose some, back in the back. Yeah, because it's like, you just can't pass it in the story, like, because even the Dragon Ball, like, writer, like, I want to go how to do it, but niggas love Goku too much. Goku was first. So, you know, you can appreciate Gohan, but like, that's cool, but you can't just have Dragon Ball nah, not be go, about Goku. Go forever. They had to change Naruto's whole name just so niggas wouldn't be pissed. Like, hey, like, look. Just to be clear, bro, it's not Naruto. He's like in the story, but it's about his kid. So if you don't like his kid, like, just 
still the roots are out there. Like, just go out the bench, bro. We'll, I'll fuck with but it makes sense for his character, though. He never wanted to fight. He was putting that work in that track jacket, you know, in the track suit. In the he movie. tried, and he's still sweet, but he's like, you know, he'd be sweeter. But then ain't like, bro, he like, said, any nigga who can play ball but really just wanted to be a team, he's like, bro, that's not what I want to do. Like, I know, I know I'm the perfect specimen for athletics, bro. That's what Zilla said. <laughs> he said, bro, like, niggas was too serious about that shit. Like, I was not that serious about that shit. He said I was tall. I could hoop, nigga, but I just didn't care. Like I did other shit, like, like bro, like you don't like teaching people things, like, like knowledge shit, like nah, bro, we gonna punch you, like I, I don't. I mean, I can, but he, <laughs> he wanted to be a superhero. Damn it. That was just fix his ass, like, cause he's still saying so, like, I wanna beat something up, but I don't wanna like fight and save the universe. I almost die. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to really kill niggas. Like, I don't want to have to really kill. It's like when you go to I the Y sometimes. Like, like when you do 